checking in because I didn't do this earlier. I've actually been having a really great day today. Uh, my husband and I, we went and walked this morning and I really enjoy getting to walk with him. He talks my ear off, mostly about Final Fantasy XI, which is what he really likes to play, but we talk about other things too. So it's just a nice morning routine for me, or it's just a nice daily morning routine for me. And then also I continue to work on my Diana story, getting more, in getting deeper into those revisions. And since Scrivener has a function where you can do snapshots of your old versions, I can compare and see how the language is changing, how the writing is changing, and that's kind of fun to see. And I also worked on editing a review for a book that is number 16 in a series, something I love. I don't think this video is gonna get a lot of views, but it's okay because it's more like a passion thing for me at this point. And I'm trying to find like fan art to include just because it's fun. So yep, that is what I've been doing today. And now I am at work. And as you can see, we are still in the waiting for them to put things up on the wall so that I can eventually one day have people back in my office. Good morning. Today is Friday the 23rd. I had started writing this morning, got up to get some water and came back, and then my computer decided that it was going to do an automatic update, and I'm still waiting for it to finish. So annoying that it would try to think for itself, right? So um, once that's done, I will continue writing. So I had some frozen strawberries, so I've decided that today I'm going to try to make sorbet. And I am not a food blogger, so I thought about doing this after I had everything ready. So I have my strawberries waiting, and I'm now currently waiting for my sugar and my water to lightly start boiling to make a simple syrup. So, putting this into that is what I am most nervous about. I haven't used a blender in years, so I have my handy ladle to get everything in. I had the next shiny idea pop into my head. And it kind of happened last night. I was watching the PBS News Hour, and they were talking about refugees in Europe. And my husband and I were talking about how all over the world we're just awful to refugees. People who are moving to another place due to war, sickness, famine. And we treat them like shit. And so, as part of my bedtime story to myself last night, I kind of went with that theme, with refugees. But I imagined a place, and I like science fiction, so this got set in space. So I imagined a place called Way Station, where any refugee was accepted. Didn't matter the reason. And the main character, it was her job to bring them in, get them situated, find you know, her. She would direct the nutritionists and doctors to make sure that these people were physically sound and then to try to find out what they're wanting since not everybody 
should stand way station. And in fact, there's going to be a, like a political angle. The main character isn't a political factor. The main character isn't a political figure, but due to her work, gets to sit in on a lot of political meetings. And so there is an anti-immigration faction, and she's just going to be like, nope, that's against the Constitution. This is our purpose. If you guys want anti-immigration, maybe it's time for you guys to leave. Find a new location to live, because we're not doing that. And then, uh, just upon more exploration, you find out she used to be a pirate. And her and her wife were the top lieutenants. The main pirate died and passed leadership to main character. And then main character's wife threw her out an airlock. And she finds this out when this pirate fleet comes to a station trying to get money, ransom money, for a group of refugees, and it goes poorly for the pirates. And then main character gets to reconnect with her daughter, who has thought she's been dead this whole... Well, the ex-wife told the daughter that she was dead. The daughter, because she is good at electronics she has gone back and watched old footage and knows that mom threw other mom out a airlock window and that's kind of as far as I got because I'm like this is definitely a new shiny idea sorry one hair change later because my husband called and I had to go find out what he needed so yes now I have a new idea to add to the idea side of that board but I'm not going to touch it right now. I'm still working on my second draft edits to my Diana story. And just getting out the idea. It's now out there for posterity. I'm going to let it percolate some more. And who knows? Maybe it will end up being my NaNoWriMo story. Because I... Really that stuff kind of comes last minute to me. <laughs> but now I need to get to writing my Diana story. Hey, uh, this is Wednesday the 28th of July, and I think I'm ending my nano, uh, Camp Nano experience here. It looks like, well, this morning we were gardening, uh, we had some plants that we had planted that were experiments, and that experiment has come to an end, so we were taking care of those, and I think that we're going to be doing gardening stuff for the next two mornings as well, and I write best in the morning, so this has been a great nano I completed my original goal and I got more writing done on my Diana story, which that will then just roll into August. I'm hoping to have completed my second draft for that and then to give it to beta readers to read. I hope Camp Nano has been a great experience for everyone else. Have a great day. Bye.